This is the Charles L. Soul Center, but to the locals, it is known simply as the Chuck. It is the home of the Robert Morris men's basketball team, but recently, you wouldn't know it. From November 20th to January 12th, the Colonials have played 12 games, just one on their campus in Moon Township, Pennsylvania. Tonight, they return home for a conference game against the Fairleigh Dickinson Knights. This is your RMU Game Day exclusive. Thirty-three days have passed since the team has played before their hometown fans. The Colonial Crazies are the Northeast Conference's most notorious student section. And a large reason the Colonials have won over 82% of their conference games since the start of the 2007 season. During that stretch, they have made three straight trips to the NEC Championship game and have earned the automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament in back-to-back -back seasons. Robert Morris wins! First-year head coach Andy Toole is looking to make it a third. Just 30 years of age, he is the youngest active coach in Division I basketball. If he wishes to succeed, he must confide in a budding trio of sophomores. Leading the way is 5'9 sharpshooter Karan Abraham. Though small in stature, Abraham is deadly from behind the arc to the tune of 15.7 points per game. He is aided by point guard Velton Jones, a Philadelphia native who is every bit as tough as the neighborhood he grew up in. Rounding out the trio is Russell Johnson, a small forward who epitomizes raw athletic ability. Russell is a shooter, slasher, and a stopper on defense. If that trio of talent is considered the foundation of the team, then Gary Wallace is the glue that holds it together. The lone senior Wallace fulfills the quintessential role on the team. Tonight, he and the rest of the team must fight to justify themselves as an NEC contender. They are currently 2-2 two two in conference play and tied for fourth in the standings. Accountability. Accountability tonight. We have to be accountable tonight to our system. If you look over the course of our season, when we've bought into it, when we've followed our formula, when we've done what we do, we win games. Defense is first. That's our system. Defense wins you championships. We are not an offensive juggernaut. We're not putting up 90. We're defending like monsters. That's how you win games. React on the floor. Don't think on the floor. React. You have to carry your weight. It can't be two minutes of incredible energy. One possession of incredible energy. I got to take the next possession off. Can't happen. And when you're on the bench, you should be thinking about, when I get in a game, how can I help my team? Because I'm a psycho, I went online and I found this poem, okay? It's incredible, okay? Found this poem. It brought in your horizons, Velton and Russell, right? You guys want to go to the symphony? Well, we're going to do a little poetry right now, okay? Can't wait to fail, can't wait to quit. Can't wait to give up on any chance of greatness. This could have been the time where destiny meets history. This could have been the time where destiny meets history. Can't wait to fail. Can't wait to quit. Can't wait to give up on any chance of greatness. This can't be said about our team. That's not who we are. That can't be how we're described. And at times this year, we've quit and failed because we haven't been relentless enough. Don't let people say things like this about you. Can't wait to quit. Can't wait to fail. We're finally back at home. Let's put on a show. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Home kill. Defense. Defense. Another 
late penciled in starter according to Greg Patron. Here comes penetration and a drive to the rack by Karan Abraham who gets the layup and the first score of the game. And that's what the coaches have been trying to get Karan to do is uh, don't rely on that three-pointer. Use your quickness, get to the basket. Has to go and Belton Jones will run the floor, wrap around pass, Elijah Thompson inside, head fake, no look pass. It'll be Johnson to Abraham. Great right pass. Great day. Hey, great help on the center line right there. Hey, yo. No one down. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. No one down. Face line is behind. Fine. Match. You're not screening. That's that one screen and stand. It might take two or three screens and one or two changes on the side of the floor. Like your shot's a quick shot. Your shot's a heat shot. I'd love you to get to the rim. Yeah. Cuts back left, Greer with a pass. Greer is gonna fire with a shot clock going up. A three-point prayer was answered and a banker to boot. Hitting me? Lucky shot by FDU, but it counts. And they tie the game at 18 all. Under 11 minutes to play, first half. Ron Williams, left side, Belton Jones underneath, Elijah Thompson, two men hanging on him, a beautiful power hook inside the lane by Elijah. It looks like down there that guys are a little step slow, that guys aren't talking, guys aren't aware of what's going on. Guys look like they're on their heels defensively, we should be putting them on their heels offensively. And you do that through communication and awareness. And Charles inside the lane, Charles doesn't have any room, goes to Wallace, hey, there's a three for Gary Wallace. Anthony Myers up the floor, Teron Abraham with it. And lost the dribble, grabbed it, threw it off. Oh, oh, oh. Another three-point shot, 37-25, a 12-point Robert Morris lead. Scott around the top of the horn. Greer makes the catch, spins, dribbles, passes to Dockery in the corner, comes out of there with seven seconds to shoot. Dockery, Greer, long three. Oh, he got it with two seconds to spare on the shot. Ticker. Joe's standing right there, Rod. He's standing right there. Hey, Larry, we didn't get that call in the first half. Same exact two players. Shaded to the right, gives off to Ron Williams. Williams now to the point. Back right, it'll go. Abraham in one motion, shoots and scores! Robert Morris leads by 12 again, 40 to 28. Colonial putting up a lot of points here with 450 to go in the first half. Get a stop! Get a stop! As the first half winds to a close, Karan Abraham finds himself with 17 points. He is a perfect five for five from behind the arc, but fails to see an open teammate on the last possession. Kick to C-Ron, 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 C-Ron! Run off! The mental air results in Abraham's first miss of the contest and is an opportunity lost for the team. Finish out the half, be alert! Ball into the chest! Don't need to reach in, like it's stupid. Pass the ball to see if he's open. Guess what? You made five threes. You think you're gonna create a crowd? Why can't we finish it out better? Stupid. Close out. No, you're good. You're good. Right, just fine. Ball screen switch. Good. You're good. Get over it. Close out. No foul. Good, good. That's good, good. No foul. Good. You're good. Your switches for the last two minutes were like dudes just running into you. As opposed to you being like, switch up, Russ. No, 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 no. Here I go. This is mine right here. Like you're just like getting banged around by the switches. One more. Where you going, Ann? One more to the corner. Score it. Let's go, screen! Screen and move! Screen and move! Here's Russell Johnson outside, goes to the foul line, and drills one from 15 feet away on the fader. 50 to 33, Russell's first basket of the game. Here we are in the second half, almost four minutes in. Robert Morris with a 50-33 lead. Russell Johnson's gonna pull from the left side and score a three. His second field goal of the game, and Russ now with five points. If they're points. in zone, we're going corner, okay? If they're in man, if they're in man, we're going elbow choices. Elbows get choices if they're in man to man. Smart, watch your back. Smart. Larry, Larry, go! 
Don't push Larry! Are you kidding me? You're not his coach! He got fouled! Got foul. It is a foul! It is a foul! You, you're not, you can't decide what he's got to finish or not. A foul's a foul! No shot! Thank you, no shot. Pick it up, get open, get open, get open, pick it up! Shoes, good luck. Good job. And I say that I say that with fear because we haven't put games together yet. We we need to finish out the halves better. Like there's things that we have to tighten up and, and you guys sometimes are so short sighted in, in what your purpose is in terms of okay, just beating FDU. Our second goal is to win an NEC regular season championship. And so if we're not playing at a championship level, if we're not playing with championship focus or championship thought, then that's a problem. We need to be able to execute and finish out a half when you're up 18 and not come in a locker room only up 14. It's little stupid things like that that you guys sometimes might think that I'm busting your balls on, but it makes all the difference between winning and losing. Again, other than Pitt, West Virginia, and Arizona, we haven't lost a game by more than five points. So think about individual possessions in those games that cost us. And some of the possessions tonight that could have cost us had FDU been better. And that's what we're trying to work towards. Instead of just two in a row, make it three in a row. Okay, good job, bring it in, let's go.